residents of Trademore Estate, one of the residential estates on the airport road in the nation's capital, trying to salvage what is left of their belongings after flood caused havoc in the area. Falling fences, cars washed away, some of the scenes that trail the Sunday night heavy downpour. The waters have receded, but the impact is huge. Government officials confirm three people dead. We've been on the search since that yesterday. And this morning we have been able to discover three bodies. For some of the survivors, it was a narrow escape. This is my very house. I was inside. If I when this thing happened, I have to climb the roof. I was inside the roof all through till it finished. The flood entered my car and I have to like open the door to rescue myself. You know. I just have to just rescue myself because the car wasn't important. It's my life that was important. Some residents blame government authorities for the problem. But officials insist the occupants built on waterways. Development control have not done their job. That's why we're having this problem. It's not about somebody building somewhere. Some, you have to take your design to development control for approval. And if you approve this kind of thing, and then you are having people having to die every year because of your incompetence, then there's a problem here. The water must find its level. So if you block it, it must surely find a way of reacting. And this is what is happening. The, the water, the flood is reacting. Similar flooding occurred last year in this estate, killing one person. The government marked some buildings for demolition, but nothing was done owing to litigation. Going forward, government officials say drastic measures must be taken, but this may also be resisted by residents. We cannot continue this way. I think in all manners, we are going to take it to the highest authority. Certain houses will just have to give way for the waterway to have its uh, free path. Nobody is coming here to demolish anybody's property. We will not allow that. What we want is for government to invest in drainage system and get this flood moving all the time. A whole of London is on top of water for crying out loud. The Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency had earlier predicted that there will be flooding this year in 28 states and the federal capital territory. A warning that should be heeded by action to prevent loss of lives and property.